żeby nauczyć się przygotowywać sushi, najpierw trzeba poznać jego historię. I od tego zaczniemy naszą pierwszą lekcję. Drogi Wilsonie, co to jest sushi? Sushi actually refers to uh, the rice, not the fish. I think a lot of people think sushi is always fish. Sushi doesn't have to be fish. And actually sushi means vinegared rice. So um, it's about the rice, basically. Jaka jest w takim razie historia sushi? Yeah, um, there's, there's a long history to sushi. Sushi actually started as a way to preserve fish. So they took fish and they put fish uh, between layers of rice, uh, but the rice was fermented. So, you know, naturally, naturally preserved. And then uh, when they want to eat the fish, they throw away the rice and they eat the fish. Phase two was um, in Japan, someone discovered that you could uh, have the same flavor if you added vinegar to the rice. So it was much faster to prepare and also very delicious to eat the fish with the rice. Um, and that's kind of the form of sushi that we know now. Um, one thing to, to mention is a lot of people think uh, sushi is the same as sashimi. Sashimi refers to anything raw, raw fish, raw, raw beef, uh, raw vegetables. Sushi refers to anything with the vinegared rice. Jakie mamy rodzaje sushi? Here are some of the most popular types of sushi. Um, you can see they all look fantastic. They all look slightly different. You have your classic maki rolls, which is probably the beginner sushi. You have the ISO, the inside out roll, mm -hmm. uh, which is with the nori on the inside, not on the outside. And then you also have the probably the most special, the most exclusive type of sushi, uh, and also often the most ex expensive one is the nigiri sushi. Co potrzebujemy, żeby przygotować sushi? Jaki sprzęt? Jakie składniki? Jakie produkty? There's two key areas. Uh, one is you need uh, the right equipment. And equipment is very basic. You need a bamboo mat. So this can help you to roll the actual maki rolls. You need a chopping board, just to, you know, to a nice clean wooden mm -hmm. chopping board to slice your sushi. And then you need a very sharp knife. When it comes to the ingredients, the most important thing is the rice. Of course, okay, because okay? mm -hmm. sushi, if you remember, refers to vinegared rice. Mm -hmm. So you need a very good quality um, sushi rice, just like the Blue Dragon uh, sushi rice. Okay. It's a very specific type of gravy. Mm -hmm. Once you've cooked the rice, you add the sushi suit over the top of the cooked rice, and this is going to be your base for your sushi. Of course, the rice is most important, mm -hmm. but you also need the nori, okay, for the for the maki sushi. So we have two types. We have the, uh, the standard uh, nori, mm -hmm. And then we also have one with, just with something different, with some sesame seeds as well. So you get a little bit more flavor. Nice smell as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ładnie pachnie bardzo. Mm. Yeah. So this is the nori. And then, if you really like the nori, we also do the snack, kind of snack, mm -hmm. uh, chips. snack packs. Like chips, yeah, very healthy for you. Um, so it's, it's a very nice little snack. Chips Great for chips as well. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, just a little tip for you. Mm -hmm. I like to uh, add this to salads. So you just shred it very finely and put it on top of a salad and it gives you a really nice color and also a nice flavor. Now, when it comes to actually eating the sushi, we have a, a couple of different products. So of course you need some sushi ginger. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, young ginger that's been sliced and preserved in some Japanese rice vinegar. So it's mm -hmm. nice and fresh and you have that between the different types of sushi to help mm -hmm. cleanse your palate. And then you have some wasabi. We have uh, two types, the standard wasabi and the premium wasabi. Wasabi is a, um, it's a root, kind of like mustard or horseradish. Mm -hmm. um, the premium wasabi actually has a higher percentage of wasabi root, the real wasabi root, which is very, very hard to grow. So um, a little bit more pungent, so it's good if you like extra kick in your wasabi. <laughs> and if you want something different to the standard wasabi, mm -hmm. we also do a mustard paste as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, this is to have with uh, especially sashimi or also with some types of sushi as well. Often it's quite nice to make different types of fillings mm -hmm. in your maki sushi. So you can use something like the, uh, the Blue Dragon teriyaki, mm -hmm. um, which is actually good for uh, other things as well. You can do you know, traditional polished foods, um, things like uh, roast pork or roast chicken or mm -hmm. stir fries with the teriyaki, which is very, very good as well um, to make the different fillings for the maki. Wilsonia, powiedziałaś praktycznie o wszystkich produktach i potrzebnym sprzęcie, a co tutaj jest w środku? Uh, sushi meal kit is great because what it contains is everything you need to make a fantastic sushi meal. So it contains your bamboo mat, it contains your sushi nori as well, your sushi rice, your wasabi, soy sauce, even chopsticks to eat your sushi with. So everything you need to make a good sushi meal is actually in the kit. So it's very convenient and it's a fantastic way to uh, try sushi and try making sushi at home if you've never tried it before.
czyli idealny zestaw na pierwszą lekcję sushi.